Not to be confused with the Chevrolet small block engine, the LS based small block engine is the primary V8 used in General Motors line of rear wheel drive cars and trucks. Introduced in January 1995, it is a clean sheet design with only rod bearings, lifters, and bore spacing in common with the long standing Chevrolet small block V8 that preceded it as the basis for GM small block V8s. The basic LS variations use cast iron blocks, while performance additions are all aluminium with cast iron cylinder liners. The LS small block has been manufactured in three generations, 3, IV, and V, with preceding generations I and II of modular GM small block engines having been based on the Chevrolet small block V8 originally designed in 1955. GM recycled the LT designation beginning with the LS generation V. LT1 in 2014. Several versions of the LS were used in the Chevrolet Corvette, beginning with the LS1 in 1997 through the LS9 and others in 2013. Variants of the LT version of the GM small block have been used since. Topic. Generation 3 1997 to 2007 The GM Generation I and Generation 2 LT engine families are both derived from the long-standing Chevrolet small block V8. The Generation 3 small block V8 was a clean sheet design, which replaced the Gen I and Gen II engine families in 2003 and 1996 respectively. Like the previous two generations, the Buick and Oldsmobile small blocks, the Gen 3, IV can be found in many different brands. The engine blocks were cast in aluminium for car applications, and iron for most truck applications notable exceptions include the Chevrolet Trailblazer SS, Chevrolet SSR and a limited run of Chevrolet, GMC extended cab standard box trucks. The architecture of the LS series makes for an extremely strong engine block with the aluminium engines being nearly as strong as the iron generation I and II engines. The LS engine also used coil near plug style ignition to replace the distributor setup of all previous small block based engines. The traditional 5 bolt pentagonal cylinder head pattern was replaced with a square 4 bolt design, much like the 64 to 90 Oldsmobile V8, and the pistons are of the flat topped variety in the LS1, LS2, LS3, LS6, LS7, LQ9 and L33, while all other variants including the new LS9 and LQ4 truck engine received a dished version of the GM Hyper Eutectic piston. The cylinder firing order was changed to 1 8 7 2 6 5 4 3, so that the LS series now corresponds to the firing pattern of other modern V8 engines, for example, the Ford Modular V8. Topic. 3.898 in bore blocks 1997 to 2005 The first of the generation IIIs the LS1 was the progenitor of the new architecture design that would transform the entire V8 line and influence the last of the big blocks Topic 5.7L The Generation 3 5.7L shares little other than similar displacement, external dimensions, and rod bearings, with its predecessor LT1. It is an all-aluminium 5,665 cc 5.7L, 345.7 cu in pushrod engine with a bore and a stroke of 99 mm x 92 mm 3.898 in x 3.622 in. 
LS1 when introduced in the 1997 Corvette the LS1 was rated at 345 horsepower 257 kilowatts at 5600 revolutions per minute and 350 pound feet 475 Nm at 4400 revolutions per minute after improvements to the intake and exhaust manifolds in 2001, the rating improved to 350 horsepower, 261 kilowatts, and 365 pound-feet, 495 Nm. The LS1 was used in the Corvette from 9704. It was also used in 9802 GMF body, Camaro and Trans Am cars with a rating of over 305 to 325 bhp, 227 to 242 kilowatts, which was rumored to be conservative. The extra horsepower was claimed to come from the intake ram air effect available in the SS and WS6 models. In Australia, continuous modifications were made to the LS1 engine throughout its lifetime, reaching 380 horsepower, 365 FTLB in the HSV's Y series, and a Callaway modified version named C4B was fitted to HSV GTS models producing 400 bhp, 298 kilowatts and 405 pound-feet, 549 Nm of torque. LS6 The LS6 designation was also used on a 454 SID Chevrolet big block engine of the 1970s, as well as an iteration of the GM Iron Duke engine from the late 1970 STHE LS6 as a higher output version of GM's LS1 engine and retains the same capacity. The initial 2001 LS6 produced 385 bhp, 287 kilowatts and 385 pound feet, 522 Nm, but the engine was modified for 2002 through 2004 to produce 405 bhp, 302 kilowatts and 400 pound feet, 542 Nm of torque. The LS6 was originally only used in the high-performance C5 Corvette Z06 model, with the Cadillac CTS V-Series getting the 400 bhp 298 kilowatts engine later. The V-Series used the LS6 for two years before being replaced by the LS2 in 2006. For 2006, the Z06 replaced the LS6 with the new LS7. The LS6 shares its basic block architecture with the GM LS1 engine, but other changes were made to the design such as windows cast into the block between cylinders, improved main web strength and bay-to-bay -bay breathing, an intake manifold and MAF sensor with higher flow, a camshaft with higher lift and more duration, a higher compression ratio of 10.5,1, sodium-filled valves, and a revised oiling system better suited to high lateral acceleration. LS6 intake manifolds were also used on all 2001 plus LS1 sixth engines. The casting number, located on the top rear edge of the block, is 12,561,168. Applications 2001-2004 Corvette Z06 2004-2005 Cadillac CTS V Series 2007 SSC Ultimate Aero TT Topic 3.78 in bore blocks 1999 to 2007 The 4.8L and the 5.3L are smaller truck versions of the LS1 and were designed to replace the 305 and the 350 in trucks. Both the 4.8L and the 5.3L share the same engine block, heads upper end, and as they share architecture, some parts interchange freely between these engines and other variants in the LS family. Topic 
4.8 LLR4. The Vortec 4800LR4 VIN code V is a generation 3 small block V8 truck engine. Displacement is 4806 cc, 4.8 L, 293.3 cu in with a bore and stroke of 96 mm 83 mm, 3.78 in 3.27 in. It is the smallest of the Generation 3 Vortec truck engines and was the replacement for the 5.0 L 5000 L30. The LR4 engines in 1999 produced 255 horsepower, 190 kilowatts, while the 2000 and above models made 270 to 285 horsepower, 201 to 213 kilowatts, and all have a torque rating between 285 to 295 pound-feet, 386 to 400 Nm, depending on the model year and application. The 2005-2006 models made 285 horsepower, 213 kilowatts, and 295 pound-feet, 400 Nm. LR4s are manufactured at St. Catharines, Ontario, and Romulus, Michigan. It uses flat-top pistons. LR4 applications. 2003 to 2006 Chevrolet Express GMC Savannah. 1999 to 2006 2007 classic Chevrolet Silverado GMC Sierra 1500 2000 to 2006 Chevrolet Tahoe GMC Yukon topic 5.3L The Vortec 5300, or LM7 per liters 59, LM4, is a V8 truck engine. It is a longer stroked by 9 mm version of the Vortec 4800 and replaced the L31. L59 denoted a flexible fuel version of the standard fuel LM7 engine. Displacement is 5,327 cc, 5.3 L, 325.1 cu in, from a bore and stroke of 96 mm x 92 mm, 3.78 in x 3.62 in. Vortec 5300s are built in St. Catharines, Ontario, and Romulus, Michigan. Another engine variant, the L33, shares the same displacement, but has an aluminum block with cast in cylinder liners, much like the LS1. Topic LM7 The Vortec 5300 LM7, VIN code 8th digit T, was introduced in 1999. It has a cast iron block and aluminum heads, and can be considered the garden variety version of the Generation 3 V8s. The 1999 LM7 engine produced 270 bhp and 315 pound-feet of torque. The 2000 to 2003 engines made 285 bhp, 213 kilowatts and 325 pound feet, 441 Nm. The 2004 to 2007 engines made 295 bhp, 220 kilowatts and 335 pound feet, 454 Nm of torque. The stock cam specs at 0 .050 lift are 190 190 first duration 0.466 457 lift 114 LSA 112 116 timing Topic L59 The Vortec 5300L59 VIN code Z is a flexible fuel version of the LM7. 
The 2002-2003 made 285 horsepower, 213 kilowatts and 320 pound-feet, 434 Nm, while the 2004 to 2007 L59s made 295 horsepower, 220 kilowatts and 335 pound-feet, 454 Nm. L59 applications 2002–2007 Chevrolet Avalanche Z71 package 2002–2006 Chevrolet Tahoe, GMC Yukon 2002–2006 Chevrolet Suburban, GMC Yukon XL1500 2002–2007 GMC Sierra 1500, Chevrolet Silverado 1500 Topic LM4. The Vortec 5300 LM4 VIN code P is an aluminum block version of the LM7 and had a short production life. The LM4s made 290 horsepower, 216 kilowatts, and 325 pound-feet, 441 Nm. It should not be confused with the L33 described below. LM4 applications: 2003 to 2005 Chevrolet Trailblazer X, 2003-2004 Isuzu Ascender. 2003–2004 GMC Envoy XL 2003–2004 Chevrolet SSR 2004 Buick Rainier Topic L33 The Vortec 5300 L33 VIN code V is an aluminum block version of the LM7, known as the Vortec 5300 HO in marketing materials. The L33 uses flat top pistons from the 4.8L instead of standard dished pistons from the LM7. It also uses 799 cylinder heads, which are identical to 243 castings found on LS6s and LS2s, lacking only the Corvette spec valve springs and hollow stem exhaust valves on the 2002-2004 LS6. This combination increased the compression from 9.5, 1 to 10.0, 1. The L33 also had a specific camshaft not shared with any other engine. Specs at 0 .050 duration are 193 duration, 0 .482 lift, 116 LSA. As a result, power increased by 15 horsepower, 11 kilowatts, to 310 horsepower, 230 kilowatts, and 335 pound-feet, 441 Nm. It was only available on extended cab 4WD pickup trucks. Only 25% of trucks made in 2005 had the L33 engine. L33 applications 2005-2007 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 4WD 2005 to 2007 GMC Sierra 1504 WD Topic 4.00 in bore blocks 1999 to 2007 The 6.0L is a larger version of the LS motor 6.0L blocks were cast of iron, designed to bridge the gap between the new small blocks and big blocks in truck applications. There were two versions of this engine, LQ4, and LQ9, the latter being more performance-oriented. Topic 6.0L The Vortec 6000 is a V8 truck engine. 
displacement is 5967 cc 6.0 l 364.1 cu in from a bore and stroke of 101.6 mm times 92 mm 4.00 in times 3.62 in it is an iron aluminum 1999 and 2000 model year engines had cast iron heads design and produces 300 to 345 horsepower 224 to 257 kilowatts and 360 to 380 pound feet 488 to 515 nm Topic LQ4 The Vortex 6000 LQ4, is a V8 truck engine. Displacement is 5,967 cc 6.0 L, 364.1 cu in, from a bore and stroke of 101.6 mm x 92 mm 4.00 in x 3.62 in. It is an iron, aluminum 1999 and 2000 model year engines had cast iron heads design and produces 300 to 325 horsepower 224 to 242 kilowatts and 360 to 370 pound feet 488 to 502 nm. LQ4s are built in Romulus, Michigan and Salau, Mexico. VIN U applications Chevrolet Express, GMC Savannah Chevrolet Silverado 2500 Pickup, 3500 Pickup, Crew Cab, and Chassis Cab, GMC Sierra 2500 HD Pickup and Crew Cab, C3, Denali, and 3500 Pickup and Chassis Cab, 1500 HD Crew Cab Chevrolet Suburban, GMC Yukon XL Denali Hummer H2 SUT GMC Yukon Denali Topic LQ9 The Vortec Ho 6000 or Vortec Max is a special high output version of the Vortec 6000 V8 truck engine originally designed for Cadillac. This engine was renamed as the Vortec Max for 2006. It features high compression, 10 to 1, flat top pistons for an extra 10 horsepower, 7 kilowatts, and 10 pound feet, 14 Nm, bringing output to 345 horsepower, 257 kilowatts, and 380 pound feet, 515 Nm. LQ9s are built only in Romulus, Michigan. Topic Generation IV 2005 present In 2005 the generation 3 was superseded by the generation IV This category of engines has provisions for high displacement ranges up to 7441 cc 7.4L 454.1 cu in and power output to 776 bhp 579 kilowatts Based on the generation 3 design generation IV was designed with displacement on demand in mind a technology that allows every other cylinder in the firing order to be deactivated It can also accommodate variable valve timing a3 valves per cylinder design was originally slated for the LS7, which would have been a first for a GM pushrod engine, but the idea was shelved owing to design complexities and when the same two valve configuration as the other Generation 3 and IV engines proved to be sufficient to meet the goals for the LS7. Topic. 4.00 in Bohr blocks 2005 present This family of blocks were the first of the generation IV small block with the LS2 being the progenitor of this family and generation 
This family of blocks has seen a wide range of applications from performance vehicles to truck usage. 6.0L The Generation IV6000 is a V8 engine that displaces 5,967 cc 6 L, 364.1 cu in from bore and stroke of 101.6 mm x 92 mm 4.00 in times 3.62 in. It features either a cast iron or aluminum engine block with cast aluminum heads. Certain versions feature variable cam phasing, active fuel management, and flex fuel capability. LS2 LS2 can also refer to the 1973-1974 Super Duty 455 CU in 7.5L Pontiac V8 engine LS2 can also refer to the 1985 Oldsmobile diesel V6 engine. The LS2 was introduced as the Corvette's new base engine for the 2005 model year. It also appeared as the standard powerplant for the 2005-2006 GTO. It produces 400 bhp, 298 kilowatts at 6000 revolutions per minute and 400 pound feet, 542 Nm at 4400 revolutions per minute from a slightly larger displacement of 5967 cc, 6.0L, 364.1 cu in. It is similar to the high-performance LS6, but with improved torque throughout the RPM range. The LS2 uses the 243 casting heads used on the LS6, although without the sodium-filled valves, a smaller camshaft, and an additional 18 cubic inches (290 cc). The compression of the LS2 was also raised to 10.9, one compared to the LS1's 10.25, one and the LS6's 10.5, one. The LS2 in the E-Series HSVs are modified in Australia to produce 412 bhp 307 kilowatts and 412 pound-feet of torque. The LS2 in the Chevrolet Trailblazer SS and the Saab 9-7X Aero are rated at 395 bhp 295 kilowatts 2006-2007 or 390 bhp 291 kilowatts 2008-2009 and 400 pound-feet 542 Nm of torque due to a different sometimes referred to as a truck intake manifold that produces more more torque at lower RPMs. The LS2 is also used as the basis of the NASCAR specification engine that is used as an optional engine in NASCAR's Camping World Series East and West divisions starting in 2006, and starting in 2010 may also be used on tracks shorter than 2 km in the Camping World Truck Series, a version of NASCAR V8 cylinder block cast in compacted graphite iron by Granger and Wurl won the UK's Casting of the Year Award 2010. L76 The L76 is derived from the LS2, and like the LS2 it features an aluminum engine block. However, the L76 does feature Active Fuel Management AFM. While the displacement on demand technology was disabled on Holden's, this feature is enabled on the 2008 Pontiac G8 GT and subsequently refitted in the 2009 model Holden's with AFM enabled, but only on models fitted with the 6L80 automatic transmission. The engine also meets Euro 3 emissions requirements. Output is 348 bhp, 260 kilowatts at 5,600 revolutions per minute and 376 pound-feet, 510 Nm at 4,400 revolutions per minute for the Holden variant, and 361 bhp, 269 kilowatts and 385 pound-feet, 522 Nm for the G8 GT. 
The Vortec 6000 or new Vortec Max version is based on the Holden L76 engine, and features variable cam phasing, along with active fuel management. It can be considered the replacement for the Generation 3 LQ9 engine. It produces 367 horsepower, 274 kilowatts at 5,400 revolutions per minute, and 375 pound-feet, 508 Nm at 4,400 revolutions per minute. Production of the truck spec L76 started in late 2006, and it was only available with the new body style Silverado and Sierra. The final year for the truck spec L76 was 2009 in the Silverado and Sierra. It was replaced by the 6.2 LL9H engine for my 2010. L98 for the tuned port generation I engine of the same RPO, see Chevrolet L98. The L98 is a slightly modified version of the L76. Since Holden did not use the displacement on demand technology of the L76, some redundant hardware was removed to form the L98. Power increased to 270 kilowatts, 362 bhp at 5,700 revolutions per minute and 530 Nm, 391 pound-feet at 4,400 revolutions per minute. L77 L77 can also refer to the 455 Oldsmobile large crank journal engine. L77 engines were released in the Holden Commodore Series 2 VE range in both manual and automatic transmissions, along with the Chevrolet Caprice police car. The L77 differs from the L76 with its inclusion of flex fuel capability, allowing it to run on E85 ethanol. The L77 is rated at 270 kilowatts, 362 horsepower, and 530 Nm, 391 pound-feet of torque in the manual Commodore SS and SSV. In automatic Commodores, it is rated at 260 kilowatts, 349 horsepower, and 517 Nm, 381 pound-feet of torque. LY6 the LY6 is a Generation IV small block V8 truck engine with a cast iron block. It shares the same bore and stroke as its LQ4 predecessor. Like other Gen IV engines, it features variable valve timing. It generated 361 horsepower, 269 kilowatts at 5600 revolutions per minute and 385 pound-feet, 522 Nm of torque at 4400 revolutions per minute using regular gas or approximately 87 octane. Redline is 6000 revolutions per minute and compression ratio is 9.61. This engine uses L92, LS3 style rectangle port cylinder heads, though without the sodium filled exhaust valves of the LS3. Applications 2007 2009 Chevrolet Silverado HD, 2007 2009 GMC Sierra HD 2007 to 2013 Chevrolet Suburban 3 quarters ton 2007 to 2013 GMC Yukon XL 3 quarters TONL 96 The L96 is essentially identical to its predecessor the LY6 the primary difference is that the L96 is flex fuel capable while the LY6 is not LFA the LFA is a Generation IV small block V8 truck engine. The LFA variant is used in the GM's two mode hybrid GMT 900 trucks and SUVs, and is an all aluminum design. It has a 10.8, 1 compression ratio and produces 332 horsepower, 248 kilowatts at 5,100 revolutions per minute and 367 pound-feet, 498 Nm at 4,100 revolutions per minute. 
engine VIN code of 5. In 2008 this engine was selected by Wards as one of the 10 best engines in any regular production vehicle. LZ-1 The LZ-1 is almost entirely based on its predecessor, the LFA, but with some revisions, such as including up integrated electronic throttle control, long life spark plugs, GM's oil life system, active fuel management and variable valve timing. It has the same compression ratio, power and torque ratings as its predecessor, the LFA. Topic: 3.78 in bore blocks 2005 present. This family of blocks is just an updated version of its Generation 3 predecessor with Generation IV updates and capabilities. Applications of this family were mainly for trucks but did see some mild usage with some modifications in front-wheel drive cars. 4. 8L Topic. LY2 The Vortec 4800 LY2 C is a generation IV small block V8 truck engine. Like its LR4 predecessor, it gets its displacement from a bore and stroke of 96 mm x 83 mm, 3.78 in times 3.27 in. The smallest member of the Generation IV engine family, it is unique in that it is the only member of that family that is used in trucks that does not feature variable valve timing, it has a cast iron block. Power output is 260 to 295 horsepower, 194 to 220 kilowatts, and torque is 295 to 305 pound-feet, 400 to 414 Nm. LY2 applications 2008-2009 Chevrolet Express, GMC Savannah 2007-2009 Chevrolet Silverado 2007-2009 Chevrolet Tahoe 2007-2009 GMC Sierra 2007-2009 GMC Yukon Topic L20. The Vortec 4800 L20 makes more power and features variable valve timing. The system adjusts both intake and exhaust timing, but does not come with active fuel management. The L20 has a cast iron block and power output as 260 to 302 horsepower, 194 to 225 kilowatts, while torque is 295 to 305 pound-feet, 400 to 414 Nm. The Vortec 4800 base engines were dropped from the Chevrolet Tahoe and GMC Yukon in favor of the 5300 with active fuel management. L20 applications 2010-2017 Chevrolet Express, GMC Savannah 2010-2013 Chevrolet Silverado 2010-2013 GMC Sierra Topic 5.3L The Generation IV 5.3L engines share all the improvements and refinements found in other Generation IV engines. Eight versions of the Gen IV 5.3L engine were produced, three iron blocks LY5, LMG, and LMF and five aluminum blocks LH6, LH8, LH9, LC9, and LS4. All versions featured active fuel management except for the LH8, LH9 and LMF. LMF 
Introduced in 2010, the LMF is a lower tech version used in the lower volume half ton vehicles cargo vans with AWD that still use the four speed automatic and do not use active fuel management. LMF applications 2010 to 2014 Chevrolet Express 1 half ton AWD 2010 to 2014 GMC Savannah 1 half ton AWD Topic LH6 The Vortec 5300 LH6 VIN code M with active fuel management replaced the LM4 for 2005, and was the first of the generation IV small block V8 truck engines to go into production. The LH6 produced 300 to 315 horsepower, 224 to 235 kilowatts, and 330 to 338 pound-feet, 447 to 458 Nm. It is the aluminum block counterpart to the LY5. Topic LY5. Introduced in 2007, the Vortec 5300 LY5 VIN code J is the replacement for the LM7 generation 3 engine. For SUV applications, it is rated at 320 horsepower, 239 kilowatts, and 340 pound-feet, 461 Nm of torque. While for pickup truck applications, it is rated at 315 to 320 horsepower, 235 to 239 kilowatts at 5,200 revolutions per minute, and 335 to 340 pound-feet, 454 to 461 Nm at 4,000 revolutions per minute. Topic LMG. The Vortec 5300 LMG VIN code zero is the flexible fuel version of the LY5. Power and torque ratings for SUV and pickup truck applications are the same as each application's LY5 rating. Variable valve timing was added for the 2010 model year. Topic LC9. The Vortec 5300 LC9 VIN code 3 or 7 is the aluminum block flex fuel version of the LH6 and is found in 4 WD models. SUV applications are rated at 320 horsepower, 239 kilowatts at 5400 revolutions per minute and 335 pound-feet, 454 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute of torque. Pickup truck applications are rated at 315 horsepower, 235 kilowatts at 5300 revolutions per minute and 335 pound-feet, 454 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute of torque. Variable valve timing was added for the 2010 model year. LC9 applications 2007 to 2013 Chevrolet Avalanche 2007 to 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 2007 to 2014 Chevrolet Suburban 1/2 ton 2007 to 2013 GMC Sierra 1500 2007 to 2014 GMC Yukon XL 1/2 ton Topic LH8. The LH8 was introduced in 2008 as the V8 option for the Hummer H3. It was the most basic engine of its family. It did not use any special technology. Also known as the Vortec 5300, the LH8 was available in the H3 and GM midsize pickups through 2009. 
The LH8 is a variant of the 5.3L Gen IV small block V8 modified to fit in the engine bay of the GMT 345 SUV and GMT 355 trucks. It produces 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts at 5200 revolutions per minute and 320 pound-feet, 434 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute. It has a displacement of 5327 cc, 5.3 L, 325.1 cu in and a compression ratio of 9.91. LH8 applications 2008-2009 Hummer H3 Alpha 2009 Chevrolet Colorado, GMC Canyon LH9 In 2010, the LH8 was replaced by the LH9. The LH9 was upgraded with variable valve timing VVT and flex fuel capability. The Vortec 5300 LH9 produces 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts at 5200 revolutions per minute and 320 pound-feet, 434 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute. It has a displacement of 5,327 cc, 5.3 L, 325.1 cu in. The compression ratio was 9.9, 1 for 2010, but was reduced to 9.7, 1 for the remaining two years of production. LH9 applications 2010 Hummer H3 Alpha 2010 to 2012 Chevrolet Colorado GMC Topic LS4 LS4 can also refer to a 454 CU in 7.4L Chevrolet big block engine of the 1970 STHE LS4 as a 5327 cc 5.3L 325.1 CU in version of the generation IV block Though it has the same displacement as the Vortec 5300LY5, it features an aluminum block instead of iron, and it uses the same cylinder head casting as the Generation 3 LS6 engine. The bell housing bolt pattern differs from the rear wheel drive blocks. This engine is adapted for transverse front wheel drive applications. According to GM. The crankshaft is shortened 13 to 3 mm at the flywheel end and 10 mm at the accessory drive end, to reduce the length of the engine compared to the 6.0L all accessories are driven by a single serpentine belt to save space. The water pump is mounted remotely with an elongated pump manifold that connects it to the coolant passages. Revised oil pan baffles, or windage trays, are incorporated into the LS4 to ensure that the oil sump stays loaded during high G cornering. Active fuel management is also used. Output of this version is 303 horsepower, 226 kilowatts, 300 horsepower on Lacrosse Super, and 323 pound-feet, 438 Nm. Applications: 2005 to 2008 Pontiac Grand Prix GXP, 2006 to 2009 Chevrolet Impala SS. 2006-2007 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS 2008-2009 Buick Lacrosse Super Topic 4.125 in Bohr blocks 2006 present 
Inspired by the LS1, R in size and performance goals, this family of blocks was designed for race-oriented performance. The only engine with this bore size that was used in a production vehicle is the LS7 with the LSX being only for aftermarket use. One unique feature of this family is that the cylinders are CMS, no water passages between neighboring cylinders. This was done to increase both bore size and block strength. Topic. 7.0 L LS7 LS7 can also refer to a 454 over the counter 460 plus HP high compression engine Chevrolet big block engine of the 1970 STHE LS7 as a 7011 cc 7.0L 427.8 cu in engine based on the Gen IV architecture the block is changed, with sleeved cylinders in an aluminum block with a larger bore 4.125 in 104.8 mm and longer stroke 4 in 101.6 mm than the LS2. The small block's 4.4 in 110 mm bore spacing is retained, requiring pressed in cylinder liners. The crankshaft and main bearing caps are forged steel for durability, the connecting rods are forged titanium, and the pistons are hyperutectic. The two-valve arrangement is retained, though the titanium intake valves by Dell West have grown to 2.2 in 56 mm and sodium-filled exhaust valves are up to 1.61 in 41 mm. Peak output is 505 bhp, 512 ps, 377 kilowatts at 6,300 revolutions per minute and 470 pound-feet, 637 Nm at 4,800 revolutions per minute of torque with a 7,000 revolutions per minute redline. During GM's reliability testing of this engine in its prototype phase, the LS7 was remarked to have been repeatedly tested to be 8,000 revolutions per minute capable, although power was not recorded at that RPM level, due to the constraints of the camshaft's hydraulic lifters and the intake manifold ability to flow required air at that engine speed. The LS7 is hand-built by the General Motors Performance Build Center in Wixom, Michigan. Most of these engines are installed in the Z06, some are also sold to individuals by GM as a crate engine. While it has the same displacement the Hennessy Venom GT utilizes an iron block LSX, not an LS7. After an extensive engineering process over several years, Holden Special Vehicles fitted the LS7 to a special edition model, the W427. The HSV tuned engine produced 375 kilowatts, 510 PS, 503 bhp at 6500 revolutions per minute and 640 Nm, 472 pound feet at 5000 revolutions per minute of torque. It was unveiled at the Melbourne International Motor Show on February 29, 2008 and went on sale in August 2008. The first Australian car to be fitted with this engine, however, was the CSV GTS of 2007, which was claimed to have a power output of 400 kilowatts, 536 horsepower, and 600 Nm, 443 pound-feet. Topic: 4.06 in bore blocks, 2007 present. This family was designed as a replacement for the LS2 but enlarged to better accommodate variable valve timing and active fuel management while still generating good performance. This family of engines has mainly seen duty in performance cars and high-end SUVs. Topic 6.2L 
L92 the 2007 Cadillac Escalade has a 6,162 cc, 6.2 L, 376.0 cu in Vortex 6,200 RPO L92 engine. It is an all-aluminum design, which, while still a pushrod engine, boasts variable valve timing. The system adjusts both intake and exhaust timing between two settings. This engine produces 403 horsepower, 301 kilowatts and 417 pound-feet, 565 Nm in the GMC Yukon Denali, XL Denali, GMC Sierra Denali, Hummer H2 and briefly in the Chevrolet Tahoe LTZ midway through May 2008 through May 2009 and rated at 403 horsepower, 301 kilowatts and 415 pound Pound feet 563 Nm. Starting in 2009, it was also available in the Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra, as the L9H, with power ratings of 403 horsepower 301 kilowatts and 417 pound-feet the 2009 L92 was modified with flex fuel capability, becoming the L9H. In 2010, the L9H was further modified with active fuel management, becoming the L94 in the Cadillac Escalade and GMC Yukon Denali. Interestingly, active fuel management hardware was present in 2007 engines, but the software was not enabled in the PCM till my 2010. LS3 LS3 can also refer to a 402 CU in 6.6L Chevrolet big block engine of the 1970 STHE LS3 was introduced as the Corvette's new base engine for the 2008 model year. It produces 430 bhp, 321 kilowatts, 436 ps at 5,900 revolutions per minute and 424 pound feet, 575 Nm at 4,600 revolutions per minute without the optional Corvette exhaust and as SE certified. The block is an updated version of the LS2 casting featuring a larger bore of 103.25 mm in, creating a displacement of 6,162 cc 6 L, 376.0 cu in. It also features higher flowing cylinder heads sourced from the L92, a more aggressive camshaft with 0.551 in 14 mm lift, a 10.7, 1 compression ratio, a revised valve train with 0.236 in 6 mm offset intake rocker arms, a high flow intake manifold and 47 pounds 21 kilograms per hour fuel injectors from the LS7 engine. The L76 per litres 92, LS three-cylinder heads use 2.165 in 55 mm intake valves, and 1.59 in 40 mm exhaust valves. Improved manufacturing efficiency makes these heads cheaper than the outgoing LS6 heads, and severely undercuts aftermarket heads. The large valves, however, limit maximum RPM 6000 in the L76 with AFM, and 6600 in the LS3 with hollow stem valves. In addition to the above, a dual-mode exhaust package with a bypass on acceleration was available on C6 Corvettes. The dual mode exhaust uses vacuum actuated outlet valves, which control engine noise during low load operation, but open for maximum performance during high load operation. The system is similar to the C6Z06, but uses a 2.5 in 64 mm diameter exhaust compared to the Z06's 3 in 76.2 mm. Power is boosted to 436 horsepower, 325 kilowatts and 428 pound-feet, 580 Nm with this option. 
A similar system was optional on later model fifth generation Chevrolet Camaros and standard on the 2016 2017 Chevrolet SS, but no horsepower or torque increases were advertised on those vehicles. From April 2008, Australian performance car manufacturer HSV adopted the LS3 as its standard V8 throughout the range, replacing the LS2. The LS3 received modifications for its application to HSV E series models, producing 425 bhp, 317 kilowatts. The LS3 engine in the E-Series 2 GTS released September 2009 was upgraded to produce 436 bhp 325 kilowatts. All HSV MY 12.5 excluding the base Malou and Clubsport variants have been upgraded to produce 436 bhp 325 kilowatts. From September 2015 Holden introduced the LS3 in all V8 models of the VF2 Commodore and WN2 Caprice V, replacing the 6.0 LL77. L99 For the 4. 3L 260C UN generation 2 engine of the same RPO see GMLT engine the L99 is derived from the LS3 with reduced output but adds active fuel management formerly called displacement on demand and variable valve timing which allows it to run on only 4 cylinders during light load conditions applications 2010 to 2015 Chevrolet Camaro SS automatic transmission LS9 The Gen IV LS9 is a supercharged 6162 cc 6.2L 3760.0 cu in engine based on the LS3 the LS7 block was not used due to the higher cylinder pressures created by the supercharger requiring the thicker cylinder walls of the LS3 Cylinder dimensions are now bore and stroke of 103.25 mm x 92 mm 4.065 in times 3.622 in. It is equipped with an Eaton 4 lobe roots type supercharger and has a compression ratio of 9.1.1. Power output is rated 638 bhp, 647 PS, 476 kilowatts at 6,500 revolutions per minute and 604 pound feet, 819 Nm at 3,800 revolutions per minute of torque. Note, GM previously used the LS9 RPO code on 1969 and later Chevrolet trucks both 2WD and 4WD including Blazers, Jimmys, Suburbans, as well as car carriers. The original LS9 was a 350 cu in 5.7L V8, developing 160 horsepower, 119 kilowatts, and 245 pound-feet, 332 Nm of torque. Applications: 2009 to 2013 Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. 2017 HSV GTS RW1. Equus Base 770 LSA The supercharged 6.2 LLSA is similar to the LS9 and debuted in the 2009 CTSV. The LSA has been SE certified at 556 bhp, 415 kilowatts at 6100 revolutions per minute and 551 pound feet, 747 Nm at 3800 revolutions per minute. GM labeled it the most powerful ever offered in Cadillac's nearly 106 year history. The LSA features a smaller 1.9L capacity supercharger rather than the 2.3L variant of the LS9. Other differences include a slightly lower 9.0, 1 compression ratio, single unit heat exchanger and cast pistons. 
A580 bhp, 433 kilowatts and 556 pound feet, 754 Nm version of the LSA engine as used in the 2012 Camaro 1 Zelati. On May 15, 2013, Holden Special Vehicles announced that this version of the LSA engine will also be used in the Gen F GTS. Topic: Generation V 2013 present. In 2007, Wardsauto.com reported that the LS3 used by 2008 Chevrolet Corvette and Vortec 6000 LFA used by 2008 Chevrolet Tahoe Hybrid engines would be the final two designs in the Generation IV small block engine family, and the future designs would be part of the Generation V engine family. An experimental engine was built based on L92 engine from Cadillac Escalade, GMC Yukon Denali and Hummer H2, and reported to generate 450 bhp 336 kilowatts on gasoline via direct fuel injection, increased compression ratio to 11.5,1, and a modified engine controller. The first Gen VLT engine was the LT1, announced in 2012 as the initial powerplant for the redesigned Corvette C7, succeeding the LS engine family. The new logo formally adopts the small block name for the engines. The fifth generation of the iconic GM small block engine family features the same cam in block architecture and 4.4 in 110 mm bore centers the distance between the centers of each cylinder that were born with the original small block in 1955. Structurally, the Gen V small block is similar to the Gen 3 IV engines, including a deep skirt cylinder block. Refinements and new or revised components are used throughout, including a revised cooling system and all new cylinder heads. All Gen V engines are aluminum blocks with aluminum cylinder heads and include features such as direct injection, piston cooling jets, active fuel management, variable displacement oil pump, continuously variable valve timing. However, it does retain its ancestors' two-valve pushrod valve train. Topic 4.06 in bore blocks 2014 present. This family of blocks were the first of the Generation V small block, with the LT1 being the progenitor of this family and generation. This family of blocks has seen a wide range of applications from performance vehicles to truck usage. Topic 6.2 L LT1 for the 5.7 L 350 CU in generation 2 engine of the same RPO, see GM LT engine the 6.2 L 376.0 CU in 6162 cc LT1 engine debuted in the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray and is the first generation V small block engine. Like its LS3 predecessor, it gets its displacement from a bore and stroke of 103.25 mm x 92 mm 4.065 in times 3.622 in with a compression ratio of 11.5 to 1. Applications L86 the 6.2 L 376.0 CU in 6162 cc Ecotec 3 as a generation V small block V8 truck engine. VIN code J. The L86 is an LT1 engine modified for truck use with a compression ratio of 11.5 to 1. Applications L8T the L8T is a 6.6-liter, iron-block member of the Gen V family. 
It shares its 103.25 mm bore with the L86 but with a longer stroke of 98 mm. It is rated for 401 horsepower at 5,200 rpm and 464 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 rpm. The compression ratio is 10.81. The longer stroke yields little additional torque output compared to the L86. The stroke is also shorter than the LS7's 101.6 mm, perhaps to optimize rod ratio for reliability. This suggests that the engine was detuned for reliability with displacement rising to compensate, rather than allowing a highly strung small block experience failure in the HD truck market. Applications LT4 for the 5.7L 350CU in generation 2 engine of the same RPO, see GMLT engine the 6.2L 376.0CU in 6162cc LT4 engine builds on the design strengths of the previous LS9 supercharged engine used in the 6th generation Corvette ZR1 and leverages the technologies introduced on the 7th generation Corvette Stingray, including direct injection, cylinder deactivation and continuously variable valve timing, to take Corvette performance to an all-new level. The LT4 engine is based on the same Gen 5 small block foundation as the Corvette Stingray's LT1 6.2L naturally aspirated engine, incorporating several unique features designed to support its higher output and the greater cylinder pressures created by forced induction, including, rotocast A356T6 aluminum cylinder heads that are stronger and handle heat better than conventional aluminum heads, light weight titanium intake valves, forged powder metal steel connecting rods which are highly machined to an optimized geometry for increased strength while eliminating unnecessary reciprocating mass, 10.0, one compression ratio, high for a forced induction engine, enhances performance and efficiency and is enabled by direct injection. Forged aluminum pistons with unique, stronger structure to ensure strength under high cylinder pressures, stainless steel exhaust manifolds for structure at higher temperatures, aluminum balancer for reduced mass, and standard dry sump oiling system with a dual pressure control oil pump. The engine uses a 1.7L 103.7 CU in Eaton TV's supercharger. Although smaller than the previous 2.3L 140.4 CU in supercharger used on the 6th Gen ZR1, it spins to 5,000 rpm faster thus generating boost quicker while making only slightly less total boost than the LS9 engine. Applications LT5 the 6.2L 376.0 CU in 6162cc LT5 engine debuted in the 7th generation Corvette ZR1 at the 2017 Dubai Motor Show. It draws its name from the 5.7L LT5 from the C4 manufactured from 1990 to 1995. The original LT5 is rarely known as a Chevy small block V8, as it was designed and built with Lotus, and implements a DOHC 32 valve multi port injection system, instead of the push rod design. The new and unrelated LT5, however, has increased its displacement from 5.7 to 6.2L, retains the Gen VOHV valvetrain, and is topped with a 2.6L 158.7 CU in Eaton TV supercharger and an improved intercooler. It simultaneously couples the standard direct injection system found on Gen 5 engines with port fuel injection. Power output is 755 bhp, 765 PS, 563 kilowatts at 6400 revolutions per minute and 715 pound feet, 969 Nm of torque at 3600 revolutions per minute. 
Applications Topic 3.78 in bore blocks 2014 present Unlike the previous generation 3 IV 3.78 in 96 mm bore block families there is no 4.8L 290CU in displacement variant having been replaced by GM's 5th generation LTV8 based V6 the 4.3L 260CU in LV3 Topic five point three L L eighty three dubbed Ecotech three five point three L three hundred twenty CU in is a generation V small block V eight truck engine, VIN code C like its Vortec 5300 generation IV predecessor, it gets its displacement from a bore and stroke of 96 mm x 92 mm 3.78 in times 3.62 in with a compression ratio of 11.0 to 1. Applications L8B the L8B is an E-Assist mild hybrid version of the L83 featuring a 45 kWh lithium-ion battery pack. This setup can improve fuel efficiency by about 13%. This adds about 100 pounds 45 kilograms to the total weight of the truck but provides an additional 13 horsepower 10 kilowatts and 44 pound-feet 60 Nm applications. L82 The L82 is one of two 5.3 liter V8s available in the fourth generation Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. The L82 is distinguished from the L84 by the absence of the dynamic fuel management system, and is only available on lower trim trucks. L84 the L84 is one of two 5.3 liter V8s available in the fourth generation Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. The L84 is distinguished from the L82 by the presence of the dynamic fuel management system, and is either available or standard on mid to high level trims, save the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali, which is only available with the 6.2 liter V8. Topic three point nine two one in bore blocks twenty fourteen present. These V6 engines are based on the V8 version of the Gen V family, but with two fewer cylinders, a design lineage that dates back to the previous 4.3L V6, which was itself a Gen I small block with a pair of cylinders removed. Of special note, there were no V6 engines based on Generation 2, 3, or IV small block V8s. Topic 4.3 L L V3 Dubbed Ecotech 3 4.3L 260CU in is a generation V small block V6 truck engine. It gets its displacement from bore and stroke of 99.6 mm x 92 mm 3.921 in times 3.622 in with a compression ratio of 11.0 to 1. Firing order is 1 6 5 4 3 2. This engine replaces the unrelated 4.3 LV6 whose lineage dates back to 1978. Applications Topic. Engine table To identify which LS engine that you have, you must have the VIN hash and or the RPO code from the glove box sticker. The eighth character in the VIN hash identifies which engine you have. 
Note 1, depending upon vehicle application, truck, SUV, car, horsepower, torque, and fuel requirements will vary. VIN code indicating engine RPO may also not be consistent between vehicle types, cars or trucks, or years, with few exceptions. RPM redline is generally 6,000 or higher. Note 2, block features are generally dependent upon the generation but are not always built in. Typical features are a FM advanced fuel management VVT variable valve train front wheel drive FWD and other improvements features marked with an asterisk indicate that only certain model years have that feature topic problems In the early production run of the LS series engine, some engines encountered piston slap during the first few minutes after a cold engine start. This sound is caused by the pistons rocking slightly in the cylinder until they reach operating temperature size. Piston slap sometimes sounds more like a knock or the sound of a diesel engine running. It is typically only present when the engine is cold and disappears as the engine reaches operating temperature. The noise of piston slap often is louder when listening for it below the oil pan. Another common problem with the 2001-2006 5.3L engines was cracking cylinder heads. This is commonly called the Castec head failure on the Internet. GM issued a TSB on this failure to help service techs identify the problem. The head casting, which can be viewed from the passenger side of the vehicle just in front of the valve cover, was 706. Some heads with this casting number would fail, but not all of them, as GM had different suppliers for the same head. The failure was due to undetected porosity around the oil drains in the head. Topic. Build your own program In 2011, Chevrolet Performance began to offer the Build Your Own Engine program for LS7 part number or LS9 part number crate engines. It also provides customers the experience of visiting GM's unique performance build center in Wixom, Michigan, where they will join a specially trained engine builder to assist in the start to finish assembly of the engine they purchased, from installing the crankshaft in the cylinder block to topping off the engine with its intake system. In the case of the LS9, it also means installing the supercharger assembly. Upon completion, a personalized nameplate is added to the engine. The Build Your Own Engine program associated with the V8 engines, available for buyers of Chevrolet Corvette, Cadillac XLR, and certain top spec Chevrolet Camaro models, were temporarily halted after the closure of GM Performance Build Center in Wixom, Michigan. The program's venue was reported to be relocated to the Corvette assembly plant in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Topic. Aftermarket LS7R The LS7R engine is a variation of the LS7 used in the highly successful C6 R American Le Mans series race car. It was crowned as Global Motorsport Engine of the Year by a jury of 50 race engine engineers on the Professional Motorsport World Expo 2006 in Cologne, Germany. LSX LSX is also used to denote any LS engine. At the 2006 SEMA show, GM Performance Parts introduced the LSX engine, an all-new cast iron racing block based on the LS7 engine. It was designed with help from drag racing legend Warren Johnson. 
it offers displacements ranging from 364 to 511 cu in 6.0 to 8.4 l with a bore x stroke of 4 and a quarter in times 4 and a half in 108.0 mm times 114.3 mm and is capable of withstanding 2500 bhp 1864 kilowatts this block incorporates two extra rows of head bolt holes per bank for increased clamping capacity. The six bolt steel main caps are the same ones used on the LS7 engine. The engine debuted at the auto show in a customized 1969 Camaro owned by Reggie Jackson. The LSX will be available starting the second quarter of 2007, set to be available in authorized dealerships and retailers on March 31, 2007. Hennessy Venom GT uses LSX engine based on LS7. Chevrolet Performance LSX bowtie block includes LSX specific 6 bolts per cylinder head bolt pattern, billet steel 6 bolt dowel located main bearing caps, extra thick deck for maximum clamping force, extra thick cylinder walls allow increased bore capacity, maximum 4.2 in 106.7 mm, bore still allows 0.2 in 5.1 mm minimum wall thickness, true priority main oiling system, main web bay to bay breathing holes reduce crank windage, orange powder coat finish, machine bore at 3.88 in 98.6 mm is ready for final boring, honing. A 396 CU in 6.5L version is used in NASCAR for the Gander Outdoors Truck Series and the Aka Racing Series as an option engine. LSX 376 Chevrolet Performance LSX 376 crate engines are updated versions of LSX crate engine family designed to support up to 1000 horsepower, 746 kilowatts. All models use Chevrolet Performance LSX bowtie block. LSX 376B15 part number 19,299,306 includes forged steel crankshaft, forged powdered metal I-beam rods, both the crankshaft and rods from LSA engine, and forged aluminum pistons, 9.0, one compression, high flow rectangular port 6 bolt LSX LS3 heads for supercharged and turbocharged combinations producing up to 15 psi 1.0 bars of boost and up to about 1000 horsepower 746 kilowatts LSX 376 B8 part number 19,171,049 is a more economical version that is capable of approximately 8 psi 0.55 bars for engine producing approximately 600 horsepower 447 kilowatts. It is designed for production style supercharger and turbo systems used without enhancements or modifications. Topic. See also General Motors 90 degrees V6 engine GM engines Vortec